In this screencast for data dynamics analysis, I will be demonstrating the use of the data shelf. The data shelf is used primarily for displaying pivot tables with two or more measures. Therefore, whenever a measure is initially added to the data shelf, the measure value field is automatically placed on the label shelf. The measure value field is a special field that displays the values for each measure on the data shelf. We can select which measures are displayed by dragging and dropping measures to the data shelf or by performing a filter on the measure value field. As you can see, the filter options brings up a Choose Measures dialog box, where we can select which measures we want displayed in the pivot view by checking the box next to the measure name. Let's go ahead and add the reseller sales amount to our view by checking the box next to it. Now notice that the reseller sales amount measure has been added to the data shelf, and now that we have more than one measure on the shelf, the measure name field has also been added to the row shelf. The measure name field is just like the measure value field, except for it displays the names of the measures rather than their values. The measure name field provides the row or column heading for each measure on the data shelf in the pivot table. The measure name attribute field can be found at the bottom of the attribute section in the schema view, whereas the measure value field can be found at the bottom of the measure section. The data shelf can also be used when creating charts that need to display multiple measures on the same set of axes. Normally, when you make a chart, you would add a measure field to an axis shelf and an attribute or measure field to the other axis shelf. Then, if you have two or more measures on the same axis shelf, you would be provided a separate set of axes for each measure as in this chart. By moving the measure fields to the data shelf, which will automatically begin setting up a pivot table, and moving the measure name and measure value fields to the axis shelves, you can then display all the measures on the same set of axes. You could also use the measure name field to encode points on the chart. For example, moving the measure name field to the color shelf will encode the points for each measure with a distinct color for any marking type. And that concludes this screencast.